Hi there, my name is Cohen Ambrose. I'm a resource worker with the Limerick and Clare Education and Training Board with the part-time programs. I'm based at the Kilmallock Town Campus, but now uh, broadcasting from my spare bedroom. Um, you're receiving this uh, video tutorial because you are a part-time um, uh, learner on one or more courses uh, with LCETB. Um, and what I'm going to do today is uh, show you how to get logged into Microsoft Teams where your courses are now being held remotely. Um, you will have received a link that will take you to the directly to the login page for Microsoft um, along with an email address and a password. Um, however, I'll just show you how to get there straight from uh, your web browser. Um, I'm using Chrome as you can see, but you can use any web browser. Uh, Microsoft Edge is the one that works best with any Microsoft products, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. You can just use Google. I'm on a Mac right now, but this will look, a, so this will look a little different on a PC, um, but for the most part, everything, you should be able to find everything in the same, same manner, okay? So, I'm just going to go straight up to the URL bar where you would type in a web address and I'm going to type in the link that we sent you. So that's teams.microsoft.com and this will take you into uh, the, the login area. Okay, now it's populated my uh, email address because I've signed in before. Um, your email address will look similar but a little bit different. It'll start with the number 19 and then dot your first name, dot your last name, at learner.lcetb.ie. Um, so you're going to type in that, that email address uh, that we've given you, okay? Don't click create one. All right, just type it directly in and click next. And it's gonna ask you next for your password. Now we've sent you a password as well. Uh, you can change this password if you like, um, but it should be a color and then a number. Um, it is case sensitive, which means that you need to include the uppercase letter, which is for most of you at the beginning of your password, and then the lowercase numbers from there, letters from there, and then the numbers, okay? Um, my password's already in, so I'm gonna go ahead and click sign in. And I'm gonna accept this because I use this computer all of the time. If you're on a public computer or a friend's computer, don't do this, don't say, stay signed in, you can say no. Um, that just means that uh, it will ask you for your login details every time. Whereas for me, I do this all the time. I use this computer all the time. So the first place this is gonna take you once you've logged in is into Microsoft Teams because we went straight into Teams, um, which is one of many Microsoft applications that you'll now have access to. Um, this will take you and it will show you the teams that you are a member of. And being a member of a team is just like being a, a, a learner in a, who's registered for a class. Uh, it'll take your computer a couple of minutes to get going as you get in the first time because there's a lot going on in the background. Um, uh, but the first things that you'll see are uh, the team or the teams for the courses that you're in. So you can sort of imagine that each individual team that you're in is like the classroom, the door to the classroom, if that makes sense. This is where it always takes you. So you'll see that uh, I'm in a lot of classes or a lot of teams. Some of them are staff teams uh, where we're working on specific projects and some of them, as you can see, are courses. These are all level five healthcare and childcare courses that we're running in East Limerick. Um, and so you'll be able to just click on the team and go in. Now I'm not going to take you through all the features of teams right now. We'll do that in another video. The next thing that I want to show you how to do is to download the desktop application version of Microsoft Teams. As you can see, we're still in Chrome. This is what's known as the web browser version of Teams. 
uh, or the browser version of Teams. Everything about the browser version works just the same as it does in the desktop application, except for the video conferencing feature, which you will probably be using to some extent, um, at least by watching and listening. Uh, it doesn't work as well in the browser, um, and so I'm going to show you how to download the desktop and app. Now, if you don't have enough storage on your computer, enough enough space, that's fine. You can still use this web web app version, which is just fine. Okay, so to download the desktop application, I just go down here to the left hand, lower left hand corner, and, and there's an icon here that says download desktop app when you hover over it like that. You're just going to click that. And you'll see that it's thinking for a moment. And boom. Okay, so as you can see, uh, mine finally finished downloading. It took a little while for me. It might take five, ten minutes even. So we'll click on that. And this dialog box should appear. Install Microsoft Teams. Welcome to the Microsoft Teams installer. And just click continue. You're gonna have to choose a destination. Um, so uh, uh, you can install Teams in a specific place for all the users, which is really just gonna be you, just go with install for all users on this computer. It'll tell you how much space it will take up. Okay, installation type, install. It's gonna ask you for the login to your computer if you have one. If you don't have one, you should be able to just click install software. I have a small password. And it'll take an, maybe another minute or two, and it will say installation successful. And close. Now, you don't need to keep the installer itself. That's just an application for the installation, so you can move that to the trash. Okay. And I can go ahead and close Chrome. And close that out. And then on a Mac, I go to Applications. If you're on a PC, you would go uh, click on the little Windows, the little Start button at the bottom right of your or bottom left of your screen. And uh, if it doesn't appear automatically, you can do a search for Microsoft Teams. And here it is for me. And it may take a little while to open up because you're opening it for the first time. And it'll look similar, a little bit different, but similar. And you'll see that we're no longer in Chrome, we're no longer in the web browser, we're in Microsoft Teams. Because you already logged in and downloaded it and then opened the application, you should stay logged in. Uh, as your user account here. I'll move this so you can see. You can see it has my initials here. You can always click here, um, make sure that this is you. Um, you can set your status. Um, mine is as available, uh, but you know, depending on how you're feeling at that moment. Um, and that's all you need to know for right now. And uh, as we get started, I'll send out more videos about how to use Teams itself. Thanks.